Help, he's being right. mean. <laughs> 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 um, all right. So, <laughs> my girlfriend always likes to make jokes when I start the video, so that's what that was. But anyway, so what you're looking at... I'm serious. <laughs> what you're looking at in the picture is... <laughs> Is um the game breaking bug, uh the straw that broke the camel's back for me with Assassin's Creed Valhalla, um, so I was not able to pledge to s the stupidest fucking name here. I'm sorry if I don't even know if it's an actual place. I'm sure it is, but Snotting and Shire, uh, whatever. Um, I was not able to pledge to this place. I went through all the different um, solutions uh, that I found online. And then um, I found a, a Ubisoft actual post where they had said that this bug had appeared. And um, they fixed it. I'll just I'll put a picture up of the, what they had said. Um, but whatever it was, the bug, they thought they fixed it, but it wasn't resolved. Whatever. Um, so this isn't really going to be an Assassin's Creed review. I mean, I guess it will be a little bit, but, you know, I was already not enjoying this game. Uh, I mean, I was at first for the first few hours. Uh, I liked the story, and I cared to follow along with it. But then, of course, and there's and there's so many videos out there talking about this, right, about the problems with like, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. But, um, and I'm pretty much in line with all the other complaints. But um, the story was going good. I was enjoying it. And then we get to England, and then it breaks off, and you have to go to all these different territories and side stories and recruit these people. And it's, it's so much. It's... I mean, it's, it's just way, 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 way too much um, content. And by the time you go off and do all these other little side things, um, you've pretty much forgotten about the main story or you just don't care. I was just skipping through it um, because I have a lot of different stuff I want to play. And at that point, the game just kind of became a joke to me. So I just skipped through all the cutscenes and whatnot because... Um, you know, I just would have preferred a tighter story, um, and I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous, the amount of content, I can't express that enough, uh, with this game, and of course, you know what, I'm not, I don't know if I'm even mad at the bug that I ran into, just because, uh, one, it made it so I just couldn't play the game anymore, which I was happy about, I'm just, I'm a completionist kind of person. If I start something, whether it be a game or a TV show, I'm going to have to end up completing it. And, um, which is, you know, it's kind of crazy. It makes me think my girlfriend, she said something to me that was funny. Whenever I ran into the bug, she was like, oh, you know, I'm sad uh, that it happened, you know, which I was too. But she was like, just because she feels bad me going over to the computer and sitting and so miserable just playing it because I'm just playing it to get through it. Because it being so long, would be one thing which i would think it would be hard pressed to play a game as long as it is and not get tired of it but it'd be one thing if it was even all that fun to play now this is an assassin's creed game of course it's been a joke for a while that assassin's creed isn't really about the assassin um, stuff anymore uh you know which it isn't the con the stealth system in this game i've heard people say it the only other game that i can think of where the stealth system is broken so badly for me was far cry 5 but the stealth in this game is, is non-existent i mean it's either like stupidly, um, you know, where the AI just don't detect you, but that's a small majority of the time. The majority of the time they detect you like very quickly from way far off, um, which is very annoying, of course. So yeah, stealth system is just what should be the number one mechanic oh, that you work on in an Assassin's game, and it wasn't. Um, but of course, this is the Viking uh, Viking game, so Vikings are you know pretty much famous for combat and all that. And, um, you know, blood and glory and killing. Um, so even that, I didn't really enjoy as much as I thought I would. I absolutely love the combat system in Odyssey. Um, you know, I, I, had, I had a lot of fun with Odyssey. Even though it was long, I enjoyed playing it, you know. Uh, but even with this, the combat, I found myself using one attack. It was the axe throwing attack um, continuously. And I'm um, not really caring to get diverse with the different um, attacks that they had. I, I used a hammer because um, I wanted to go with like a Thor build. Um, but the, the, the amount of stuff you had to go through to unlock Thor's hammer, I just went ahead and used a regular hammer. And, uh, 
and, and yeah so I've heard people say it's ridiculous that you have to like have like a power up or something to do some of the moves when it, and whenever in other games to do these moves you know, you'd just be able to do them without the power oh and that's another thing the, the stamina bar for this when it's so uh, combat heavy you know being the viking and you really can't do stealth so you have to do the the uh com the physical combat to have a stamina bar is so frustrating i don't know if there's a way to upgrade the stamina and make you have more stamina i don't think so so um yeah that's another thing it's almost like with this game i, I just saw a youtube video a little bit ago um promoting that they're doing some type of halloween event in valhalla right now and um I could not give less of a fuck. I didn't even watch the, the video because, um, of course, I, I've you know returned the game. I do game clap, return the game by now. So, but it, what it seems, what it feels like they're doing with this is they're made the game so long and are doing all these different things. It's just a theory. Maybe they just don't want you to be able to play other games other other than their games, Ubisoft. And, and that's the thing that they're doing. They're making the game so long. Because Far Cry um, 6, I was excited to play that until I heard the reviews come out. Yeah, it's just really, really too fucking long. And it's like, oh, God, you know. Um, not another one. It's, it's Ubisoft, too, right? Far Cry. So it seems like they're making the game so long so people can't um, and, you know, have time to play anything else, you know. I mean, they're just they're just taking up the whole market. And I'm, I want to say I'm, I was a big Assassin's Creed fan, and I, and I liked the open world rpg um system that they're doing i understand why they're doing it you know and uh, i i prefer open world um like rpg style games i guess i really do um but they just need a tighter tighter store to go with it and back to the assassin stuff the big cities all of that you know um i can understand why they took a break from it uh but to go as far as they have and then do it doing it for quality of that you know um because Assassin's Creed isn't one of those things where it's like, you know, oh, they've just done so many, it's time to end it, you know, or whatever. Um, just the nature of the game, being able to go to all these different points in history, um, it's really interesting. Uh, so the nature of the game, it doesn't need to end. Um, it just needs to it just needs to get better. But unfortunately, it seems like it's just going to get, uh, you know, worse. Um, I've heard people say there, there's a new generation, you know, maybe it's just I've outgrown it, you know. There's a new generation coming up. Um, I've heard um, people say I've watched. It was funny whenever I played the game. I watched. Um, I, I listened to YouTube videos like long. Uh, you know, I know, there's a lot of videos out there talking crap about this game. I listened to the videos while I was playing it, and I was just nodding my head along. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's just, this is right. Um, <clears throat> and I play it, and I played. A, I play a lot of games too, and I'll say that I don't think I've ever had a game that I have not been able to finish um, because of a game breaking bug. You know, ever. Um, and that's crazy to me coming from a triple A title. Uh, but like I said, it, it makes sense too, making it so long. There's no way you're going to be able to iron out all of those, all of those bugs. Right. Um, I was even, I was able to complete fucking cyberpunk. Everybody knows how many bugs that game had. And I was able to complete that. Um, I'm not able to do this, but you know, on one hand, I'm, like I said, I was kind of relieved, uh, because there's just a, a ridiculous amount of content. There was something that said I could fix the bug by doing the Asgard quest, um, which are optional quests for the main campaign. But I was like, dude, fuck that. I'm not gonna go through and do all these quests just for it to not even fix the bug, you know? Um, so yeah, like I said, I, I, I was a big um, Ubisoft Assassin's Creed fan for sure. Uh, been playing since Black Flag. Uh, but this, this was just absolutely, uh, I think the word would be unacceptable, you know, it just is for, uh, a triple A title, um, to, to be shitting the bed this hard, you know, with how many copies they've sold, how much money they made, um, you know, I think more people need to say, I don't know, something about it, so it changes, I don't know if it will, though, it's just, it's so crazy to me how much money, uh, that this game made, too, um, it was apparently the best-selling, um, Assassin's Creed, so, so yeah, that's that's basically all I wanted to get out about it. Um, let me know. I know this wasn't everybody's experience. I'm sure some people just love the game, and um, that's okay too. Uh, but I unfortunately was not one of those people. So.